In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Christ is risen. Start off by reading Acts chapter 16, verses 16 to 34, and then John chapter 9, verses 1 to 38. Today is the Sunday of the blind man. Now, what I like about this Sunday is the extremely matter-of-fact way that the blind, or formerly blind man, goes about telling everybody what happened to him. It could have been tremendously exciting, the, he could have said, the, the heavens opened, there were angels and archangels, and there were trumpets, and there were clouds of incense, and this man shouted at the top of his voice, and he did... But that's not the way things happened. If you get onto something like YouTube, you'll see lots of um, Christian pastors talking about the Lord, and they tend to really ham it up. But this is not like that at all. Let's just tell you what he said. In verse 11, he says, A man named Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and I received my sight. Or, a few verses later, because presumably he's sick of telling people by now, in verse 15, he makes it even more brief. He put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and I see. Boom, as simple as that. He put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and I see. No angels, no fanfares, no trumpets, no shouting, no histrionics, no huge build-up to this great miracle. He put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and I see. You see what a simple way it is that he gives testimony to what happened to him. Now we should be able to do the same. You also need to be able to tell other people what happened to you. The Lord put clay in your eyes because you were blind. And you washed, and now you see. You were blind before you were baptized. He put clay on your eyes. You washed, and now you see. So what exactly happened to you? If somebody was able to ask you, so, why, why are you a Christian? What would you say? What one sentence would you compose that is so simple? I was blind, he put clear my eyes, I washed and now I see. What would you say? Would you say, um, I was angry with God, so I prayed and now I believe? Or, I didn't believe in God, I decided to read the Gospels to help me to understand why I didn't believe in God, and now I believe. I didn't believe. A friend explained his belief, and now I believe. I didn't believe. I went to a holy well, and now I am converted. What might it be for you? I've just described some things that I've heard various friends of mine say. One of them happened to me. So what happened to you? Or what is happening to you? Try to distill it down so that you could make one sentence of it and keep it there in your heart because that is your segment of the good news. That is when the Lord touched your heart. When he came and he put out his finger and he cured you. First, you were living in spiritual blindness. The Lord came and touched the part of you that needed healing, and now you live with spiritual sight, whatever it might be. See what it is, and be prepared to tell other people. It's not something to be ashamed of, they might be angry with you for telling you these things. Or rather you telling them these things. Just think of the way that they reacted to the blind man. They were furious. 
Who are you to tell us? You were born in sin, they said to him. He said, well, I don't know anything about that. All I know is that once I was blind and now I see. <laughs> and you can give a similar sort of answer. You don't need to be a hugely learned person who studied theology for years. What you need to have is your own fragment of the gospel nestling in your heart. Whatever it may be, the Lord came to you one day he put out his hand, he did something to you, and now you are changed. Christ is risen. Your prayers. Amen.